Virgo, hi. Welcome and welcome back. We're going to start this read a little different. We're going to check out the archetypes and see what we have, um, what archetypes are coming in to help you on this part of your journey. This has to do with yourself. Then love. Then I'm going to see, check with the stars, the universe, to see what um, planets and or signs are be, you're being influenced right now. And then we're going to get some words of wisdom from your angels, ancestors, and guides. Let's begin. Spirit, show me for Virgo, for their self, what archetypes want to be seen. What is Virgo needing archetypes right now? Archetypes? Come out. That's too many. Way too many. Just one, please, at a time. The heart. That's for self. The next one's for love. They just said, show me for Virgo. The ocean. Bottom of the deck, the shapeshifter. What planets or signs is influencing Virgo right now for their self with the archetypes? What about for love? Open this up more. Give me a card for these two. What? Okay. Spirit said to do that. Okay. Wow. So, uh, let's unpack this, but this is a lot, Virgo. So, um, bottom of this deck right now, of the archetype deck, we have the shapeshifter, and then we have the ten of swords. So, what that's telling me right off the bat is you had a past, um, whether this is romantic or just with friends, family, it can be all of it, friends, family, romantic, platonic, um, you know, however this works for you, but you dealt with a lot of shapeshifters in your past. They were like animals. They betrayed you, right? They shaped it and morphed into what they thought you wanted. And then when you realized that they were the clowns that they really were, it was really, it was not too late, but you were already in very deep and you loved these people, right? And it was hard and you had to cut off friend circles, cut off family, cut off romantic partnerships and just kind of go within and like focus on not them. It was hard because the Ten of Swords talks about despair, betrayal. It's a lot of sadness, feeling powerless, feeling depressed, feeling like you have Ten Swords in your back. Because this type of, these shapeshifters don't dare stab in the front. That's not their style. They're sneaky and they have no real heart. They don't know where they're being led to because they don't lead themselves. People that want, in romantic partnerships, we're talking about people that want to lead but can't even lead themselves out of a wet paper bag. Whether male or female doesn't matter. In friendships, these are users. These are people that come around for something that you have that they want, period. Whether it's finances, whether it's nurturing energy, a place to crash. Um, it's just, this is just despicable people that transform into what you, what they thought you wanted to get what they wanted. And they really didn't give a fuck about you. They knew, and you learned this. Ten of Swords, you know, you learned that. And so what's coming out now for you 
the heart. You are learning for yourself how to love yourself again, how much, um, how deep the love for you goes, what you're willing to tolerate, whether this is um, networking, family, friends, platonic, romantic, however this is, you're doing a whole upheaval of all of that. And like, no, I am standing in my integrity. These are not rules, these are boundaries. If you can't meet me at the level where I'm at, right, emotionally, mentally, you, you're not going to be less than what I am and expect me to bow down or lower myself because you choose to not grow. I am not supporting my emotionally, mentally, physically, right? I am not um, helping anyone that is not able, willing to help themselves. And I'm tired of making excuses for low lights. And I've learned I have so much love to give that I accepted a lot in the past because I give a lot. I have a lot to offer. So I, I take a lot, but then I realize, says Virgo, that I was the only one loving myself the way that I deserved. I was settling for putrid behavior. We, it, it happens sometimes, Virgo, you know? We don't know because we give people chances because we think, oh, it's just they're immature, or oh, they just need to grow up, or oh, they just don't see it. No, 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 you learned by going into your own heart and giving yourself, being kind to yourself, being generous to yourself, being loving to yourself, you learned exactly. Look, it's like the divine feminine, the divine masculine in the boat, you, right? And you're learning how to love yourself and how you're going to exert yourself, feminine wise, masculine wise, whatever your sex or gender is, it doesn't matter. There's no sex or gender in Tarot. You are going to, and you're learning, you're nurturing, you're making the nest around your own heart. Some of you could have a kid, but this is about self. Um, but, and you have always been the diamond. You've always been a gem, right? Like, you've always been a precious stone, right? You had to dive deep into yourself to realize. And now it's like the heart. But if we look at the, um, the 12 chakras, I go by the 7, but I also go by the 12 and the 14. Uh, there's a bunch. Pink is the second heart. So green and then the second heart. So it's like you're finding the balance between your throat chakra and your heart for your second heart. You're saying, I know what I want for me, and I'm going to speak it up in the beginning so there's no surprises. I'm putting out my boundaries up front. I know what I want, what I don't want, what I'm looking for, what I'm not. And if people can't measure up, they can go because this is my life and this is the way that I'm doing it. It's also saying that you're um, using Gemini energy. So something could have happened in Gemini season or something could be happening in Gemini season coming up, which is like May and June. Or something could have happened in May or June, right? doesn't have to be, though. It's just the energy. But Gemini energy, it's like, the, it's curiosity, it's intellect, it's networking, it's communication. It is the balance of the mind and the heart. It's air energy, so it's mental, right? But then you have the heart. So what does this tell me? You're balancing yourself. What logically makes sense to what makes sense here, too. You're finding that. And because of that, Look, Six of Swords, what is that? Mental peace. It also could mean travel. Maybe you had to move or do something, but it's mental peace. It's hope. It's a advance, recovery, listless. It's adventure. It is being divinely led elsewhere and being okay with that. Wow. That's beautiful, Virgo. And for, that's what you have for yourself. That happens sometimes, guys. We have to move on from this energy. Nobody wants a shapeshifter that betrays, right? And this wasn't just one person or two or three or four. This was probably your whole, you know, most of your, a lot of your life before you understood that, wow, I've been settling for less because I've been accepting less, right? Hey, we've all been there. 
I've been there. But we rise up and then we say, no, I am not lowering myself because you choose to not be something. Fuck that and fuck you. I don't give a shit who you are. Not today, Papa. Not today, Mama. Nope. But by doing that, look what's coming in. The ocean. Knight of Cups and the Yang Principle, which is proactivity, expression, doing, forward motion. It's like the sun. It's the Yang Principle, right? It, that's what it is. The Knight of Cups, it's like the ocean as far as, well, the ocean, you know, goes, um, moves forward, but it does bring the tide, you know, it, it can bring back in and come forward. But what's beautiful about the ocean is it runs really deep, like you, Virgo. And, you know, you're more of a logical thinker, but that doesn't mean your heart's not huge, because yes, it is. For You have a lot of patience with people because you can understand them from such a higher level of perception that you, you make, you know, um, you're able to make room um, because you're so intelligent and you understand people. But now, guess what's coming in? Somebody that wants to love and understand you. Somebody that loves as deep as the ocean, but still knows how to stay on land. That knows that, you know, things move with the tide out and then it comes back in. But, you know, it's, it comes back into the stuff that's close, but like a seashell that's like too far on the on the beach. The ocean, when it when it's in um, high tide, it's you know will go out. But if it's too far out, when it when it comes back in, it's not going to pull it in. But if it's closer to the ocean, it will. So you're pushing away, and you're not accepting um, anything that's too far off your path. And what's coming in for you is somebody that is not too far off your path whatever that is for you somebody that can love to the depths of the, the 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 ocean that we don't even know the depths of because we have never been down that far right we can speculate but it's deep but somebody that also can stay on land night and day but they're not switching it's not like night and day as in light and dark in a bad way it is you're somebody that will be vulnerable with you and has you know, two sides to them, but the duality isn't that immature switch. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. It's something like that, guys. That, that who they are to the depths of their soul, to the depths of that ocean, is the same as who they are when they're on land in front of people. It's something like that, guys. And with the Knight of Cups, that's a very dreamy energy. That's a dreamy night, the Knight of Passion. No, it's not the Knight of Passion. It's the Knight of Love romantic, sensitive, refined, gracious. But it's also saying to be careful too because sometimes the Knight of Cups can be dreamy. So you still need to be careful because there uh, may be an energy that may not be quite there, but not to, I'm hearing, don't give out all the information at once because that's how people will use you. But use your expression proactively. Um, it's proactivity, expression, doing and moving forward, like forward motion, using the sun. Virgo, you got some good things coming in. You have somebody coming in that's clever, charming, loving, caring, kind. They've been to the depths of the ocean and they they and they know what it's like on the other side too. But also keep be prepared because a night is let's clarify. Why is this night here? Give me a sec, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, I'm back. Let's dive in really quick to see what's the what's the Knight of Cups for Virgo. Oh, I'm he okay. I'm hearing um, somebody may be charming and loving, but don't get ca caught up in dream, like in dreamland, something like that. But you won't. Yes, you'll have a practical choice to make. So there's going to be two types of um, energies coming through to you. So there's, And you're going to have a choice between two. This is also Virgo energy as well. Um, you are going to need to use, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. But what you're going to need to dive into is your feminine um, energy of like the, the uh, uh, emotional intelligence, that part of it, right? right? Something like that. But also the masculine energy of understanding 
because you're going to have some knights coming in and some and some of them are um they're just not where they need to be in life but they're getting there right and others are choosing to not grow so you are going to be put to the test very soon by pisces season which pisces season um it's like march ends in march i believe so yeah so you got from you know just to be aware of that though and what words of wisdom do we have for um virgo first we're going to do for the self the conclusion look a lot of um signs have been getting this but look it's the conclusion it's literally two books the end of one book completely closed for a new one to begin the end there's no more pages that you can't add any more pages for a new one to begin for yourself because you're doing a revamp of like what you're allowing in your life who is good for you who isn't how much energy are you giving how what are you getting in return it's not selfish virgo you've just become harder to manipulate that's the difference and you're understanding that now the knight of cups listening yes that's where the two of pentacles come in so for love it's going to be listening so it says Darkness does not always equate to evil. Light does not always bring good. So listening. And when you listen, you will be able to discern for yourself what type of Knight of Cups this is. And you will make the practical choice for you. Because you don't want cycles to repeat. You might be a Life Path 3. You might be a Life Path 7. Um... You might be a life path 10, but it's also showing cycles. It's closing. Everything's closing. You're, you're revamping everything, and you're not allowing this shit energy ever to come back, and you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to end this now, Virgo, because I don't want to take too much longer. I try to do shorter reads, but it really seemed like you needed this. So um, with that, hit that like button, and let me know if this resonated. Bye, Virgo. Love you.